Okay, what's going on? CG Infinite here. Fourth anniversary of Apex is here, and they've given us a little treat. More a uh, Apex shards, more heirloom shards, you know, for those of us who have too many as it is. So, as always, gonna go through, say what's what, you know, the absolute truth. I've already got this Pathfinder skin because I got my other pack from the, uh, well, what you call it, the event tracker over here. I already got that one. I already have another one. I'm going to open that one at the end of the video, see what my luck's looking like. But let's get right into it. Starting off with something that looks like it was in one of the other collection events. This actually looks really familiar. It, I don't think I have a skin akin to this one, but uh, it's just all black with a bit of shininess, little minor details. It gets a four. Enforcer of Justice. This is ugly. I, I don't I don't even like this. This is actually very just this, yeah, I'm trying to speak too fast. It, it's ugly all the way around. It's it gets a one. Subwoofer. Comparable to all the other ones, this if they had done a little bit more, could have just been straight into a, a legendary. But this is actually one I like. It's got a little minor details. The play and pause, the DJ Gibby on it. It's actually got the little equalizer lines for uh, music. If only it. Oh, it, this could be like the dubstep gun. So I'll give this one a solid 8. Signature Solution. Honestly, compared to everything, compared to all the other ones, this one's still somewhat decent, but it's still kind of ass at the same time. So, unfortunately, it's at least a 5. Banner frame, one, two, three, and four, zero. Don't care what they look like. All right, we got kicking it with DJ Gibbe. Oh, poor Lifeline. I'm gonna get to Lifeline in a minute. And you know, Daft Punk, Pathfinder. This is actually, this is actually a slightly decent emote, that not emote, but hollow, shareable across every one's, uh, you can share with every individual legend. It's not just for one person, which is actually pretty nice but I give it a six I would give it <laughs> I would give it a seven but I'll just knock it down one I, I knock it down like two or three because of what they did the lifeline which I once again I'll get into in a minute but then it comes right back up because of Daft Punk Pathfinder so seven to the rescue I'm gonna tell you right now <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now Bangalore running away. There's a reason why she runs out why she runs faster when being shot at. She is not coming to save you. Yo, next one is Wraith. You should know. She's leaving the second she get knocked. She, there's, there's no rescuing you. Can't rescue her. And then Newcastle. You, you already know about Newcastle. This is a zero. Ray to shred. Honestly, this one's actually pretty dope. It doesn't actually show off their individual skins as much as it does the other two hollows that I just uh Pretty much showed off especially callus is mostly got cows hidden behind uh bloodhound but i'll give it a i'll give it a four i'll give it a four and a half and then no escape now yeah i'm gonna tell you right now if i see if i see this octane if you see something like this octane punch his chest and this guy green glow and now he's sprinting at you full speed he's leaving a trail behind him you are never getting away to begin with and yeah no ash and horizon just look like pure menaces horizon looks like a whole vampire out here just hanging with these two so uh, i give it this one a seven just because th this one actually looks really cool horizon is actually pretty dope i like the little how they did the collar oh the entire inside is lit yeah no nah, this oh, this entire thing is pretty dope i actually like this give it an eight biotechnical once again, a lot of Hori Horizon, a lot of Ash's skins kind of seem similar to me. Like they kind of meld. I don't know what it is. It's dope-ish, but it looks like there could have been a bit more to it. I give it a five. So this is a recolor of another skin, which you already know the problem with that. Honestly, it's kind of it's kind of badass. Like this is really. This whole thing is really cool. You can't not give this an 8. <laughs> this is just a really cool skin. Moving over here to the Techno Witch. This is actually pretty dope for Catalyst. Kind of reminds me of uh, Rhapsody. 
RIP Apex Mobile. So, you get this uh, seven and a half, like the, the little shades and stuff. Like the, the main thing I know is that instead of the usual tubes that she would have, she has these, uh, I don't even know what you call these electrical wiring little things coming off and it actually looks pretty cool. You know, where would, where, where would Seer be, but in the culture or the sub culture taking the stage with the loudest. Oh, it actually is, is, has his name. Oh no, it says seek. Oh, it just said Seer. That would have been perfect. Just going across the arm. Like this is, this is pretty cool, but it somehow also seems off. It doesn't seem like the sort of stage outfit Seer would be wearing. So I'm gonna have to give this a six. Tag tracker. It's dope and ugly at the exact same time. It's kind of it's kind of dope because it's like it has this little straw or whatever you want to call it that feeds up to his mouth. It's got this little backpack on it and whatnot. Like it looks like a very rave like thing. But what makes it kind of ass is the fact that you got uh, your buddy sitting right here and he has no gear on. He ain't got no swag. What you doing out here? It's a five. Moving over to... I want to give it a zero, but I'm not going to do him dirty like this. He's got a little bit of gray in the beard. Like this has, has a lot of accents on it that you can notice with a lot of the gold. It's somewhat decent. I still don't like Newcastle, but you know, you got to give him at least a seven on this. It, it looks pretty cool for, for Newcastle. Can't do it. She looks like Robin. It makes me hate this so much compared to the fact she looks like Robin with this. Well, not Robin, uh, Nightwing. Looks like Nightwing with this and has her prestige skin. Same thing with Bloodhound, but Bloodhound's has been out for a while, so I let it go. Wraith just got hers and we're already getting another legendary skin for Wraith. Yeah, get, get Nightwing out of here. He's got to go back to the Teen Titans. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just drop this down to the four. All because she has a prestige skin. The that that's the only thing holding back. Cosmic Enforcer, which is the recolor. I didn't like the original skin. I don't like this one any more than that one. It gets a it gets a solid four. Surround sound Pathfinder. High friend in the visor. Yeah, you can't you can't not like this. Like this is just completely dope this is an automatic nine just gonna go ahead and say that once you realize it's daft punk that makes you want to just bump it up to a 10 which is exactly what i'm gonna do 10 out of 10 best skin on this whole pass so we got uh, we've got a uh, we've got oliver tree here and the reason i say that if you don't see it, is this damn bowl cut they got on her as soon as i saw this bowl cut i was like Oliver Tree, why would y'all do this? Y'all ain't have to do, y'all ain't have to do Lifeline like this. She deserved better. And then somehow Lifeline is, I think, like three shades darker than she usually is too. I guess all that time spent out DJing with Gibby. Well, Oliver Tree, I, I was gonna say I'll give you a tree, but that that's just terrible. Uh, I'll give I'll give this a five. I just don't like that they did Lifeline dirty like this. Lifeline usually gets the best skins. And DJ Gibby, I actually own the original skin of this, which is this. So it makes it kind of difficult for me to justify getting this recolor when I have the original already. But it's, it's DJ Gibby. What you going to do is it's DJ Gibraltar. Come on. Which is why, even though it's all sparkly, I can only give it a six because th this probably would have been the one of the only ones I would have raised higher, but I just have another, I have the original skin and there's not too much of a difference other than this is shinier. It's a slightly, slightly different color. So, meh. And then finally we have the heirloom shards at the end. Uh, I mean, it's really nice to know that instead of 500 packs, which would take who knows how long or how much money, $160, boom. Heirloom shards if you haven't had them before or whatever. But we're gonna wrap it up here with me opening my other pack just to see what we get. 
go ahead and comment down below if you think it's going to be a banner frame or one of these hollows. If it's one of the hollows I actually like, I won't be mad. Otherwise, fuck. Oh, I got one of the skins. Oh, I got all of her tree. But if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Be looking forward to more content coming. And yes, I know that I'm lacking behind on a couple of videos of some projects I was working on. And I'm currently in the works on that as the moment. So just I ask to be patient. And until the next one, I'm out.